Hi guys, this is going to be a three card spread for Virgo. Um, and I haven't forgotten about the ghost series that I'm going to do, but um, I'm in the process of trying to get another job, you know, applying for jobs and stuff like that. So I just don't really have the time to, to do that right now, but I do have time to do these short little um, videos on uh, tarot card reads. So I just thought it might be kind of fun and see if anybody's interested. Um, I'm also a Virgo. So um, I try to keep my myself out of it, but out of the reading, you know, because I know what's going on in my own life, of course. Um, but that's kind of a balancing act. And but I still get messages coming through uh, for other people. So it's not just like for me um so and i think this went really well and the date is april 15th so i'll try to remember to put that in the description okay so um to get started i i'm just doing the past present and future and um the first card for the past came up which is justice Now, a lot of people, here, I'll pull it back like that. A lot of people will just, you know, or the other readers, I, I read a few, I mean, I listen to a few readers, uh, not very many, but um, they'll, they'll like show you the card like that and then they hurry up and take it away. It just drives me insane. So, like, I, I read completely intuitively. So, I don't know the meanings of the cards. Um, Oh, but I should tell you that I have been reading this. This deck is uh, Rider Waite, and it's 44 years old. I bought it 44 years ago. And I'm not going to go into uh, why I bought them. Uh, it was a drama, though. So, um, but anyway, it uh, allowed me to find exactly where something was. So I'll just leave it at that because it's a long story. Um, if you want to listen to Leo, I kind of went into um, the story. So, because that was my first card reading it was for Leo. But anyway, so I, what I want you to do is I want you to look at these pictures and look and look at all the detail and see if there's anything that you can come up with on your own. Um, you could pause the reading and and look yourself. I'll hold it up here a while. Um, but that's how I get my information is just looking. And sometimes things will pop out. Like he might have a, a staff in his hand. I might notice it one time, but I won't notice it the next time. Or there will be a little bird in the sky or or a snail on the ground or something that you just don't notice. It just doesn't pop out. So when you are reading for yourself, or if you're just listening to other card readers, pay attention and try to get the details yourself because you will get information yourself. And also the other thing I'd like to say is that it may not always be for you. Like this uh, justice card, this king sitting on the throne, might be um someone else in your life it could be it could represent your boss your father uh it's not gender specific so it could be your mother it could be whoever is like in charge so um and also uh some of the readings that i've been listening to lately all talk about love and how i'm falling you know how virgos are falling in love and how wonderful it's going to be and this and that well that doesn't pertain to me because i've been single a long time i'm very happy being single but my daughter who i have my focus on uh, the most right now is uh because she is about to get you know engaged and get married and uh, she's starting a, a long-term relationship well it's already been long term but uh I mean, they've been together, I guess, almost five and a half, six years now or something. Uh, but anyway, it's just getting more serious as time goes along. So uh, the other people that do the readings, 
they're talking about my daughter, not about me. So just use your discernment, your own personal situation, and try to figure it out. So, uh, but I'll do my best with my part. Okay, so here we go. So the past is justice. The feeling I got was a swift cutting out of something like a job or um, a relationship uh, that doesn't serve you anymore. And you cut it out. I mean, it was fast. Wham. Um, the curtain, the closed curtain on this situation, which is behind him. So this is the past. And that curtain is up behind him because he said, oh, hell no, no more of that. So no more of uh, someone treating you badly or unjustly. So um, I also got the balancing of karma. It has the scales there. Right there. Balancing of karma. Also, I guess it could be Libra. I think Libra has... a scales in the in their thing so um and by the red on his cloak i would say um that you were upset is why this relationship or job ended because there's a lot of a fiery passion there a lot of red um and passion can go both ways this doesn't always have to be positive it can be negative you know, passion as well. Um, or just, you know, like being mad. So it was within your right and your power to do this. And the universe supported you. Um, I notice a jewel in the crown. Uh, let me read here. I wrote everything down. Um, which I see as representing was a good move with no regrets. So you see that jewel in the crown. So I think that's saying it was okay that you did what you did. Um, the green around the collar, I would say, was abundant. So maybe, maybe you left a good situation financially that was pretty good, but you just weren't happy. Um, so okay so then um the foot down here the little foot i see is taking like one one tiny step forward but really you're not moving you're sitting you're contemplating you're thinking about this and take your time because you need to think about what you're doing before just you know going off half cocked um So, lots of thinking on how to move forward while maintaining stability. You are strong, seasoned, and can handle the change without suffering. Um, the concrete pillars are set in stone, your, which represents your decision to move on. So, I do not think you're coming back from this. I don't think if it's... a uh, an X or something, you're not going to go back. You've had enough. You threw up the curtain. You said, that is enough. I cannot take any more. And I'm going to go on. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to go on. So good for you. That's really good. Even if it's stressful, change is always stressful. But change is always good. And it's the one thing that is assured of in this life is change, right? Uh, nothing ever really stays the same. So, okay, so your present card, I got the Ten of Pentacles. Now, look at all the detail on that card. My gosh. It's a lot that can come out at you and you can interpret. So, oh, I wish I could hold my hand a little stiller. Well, anyway. I'll try my best. So, 
I see this as a well-to-do man in your life. Could be a boss or a father figure. Um, it sits in, He sits inside his castle observing two people speaking in passing. Let's see the... And that this is not gender specific either, but it is a pregnant woman and it looks like, like a man that has his back towards us, but it could be a female. The pregnant woman could be a male. So just, you know, um, take it as it resonates. This man may be into race cars or boating. And I say that because I see the checkered flag here. And also the, oh, let me look here real fast. Oh, the boats are right beside. Looks like two boats right there in the checkered flag. Might be into sports of any kind. There's a another little castle up here. So he has a home away from the establishment or whatever, wherever he is sitting right now. There's another home that's involved. Um, okay. Uh, this, okay. Oh, I already said that. Sorry. He is established, comfortable, and serious person who loves animals, or he is calming animals, or he is calming people around him. The, uh, animals could be people. Um, uh, also re rep representing a boss with employees under him, possibly. Cause, because it seems like this is an establishment to me. It's, it's so big, and this out here is so big. It just seems like a big business to me. And then this seems like his, his home away from this place. Um... But anyway, just take it how it resonates. Okay. Gotta turn the page. Oh, I got to blow it with one hand. Okay. So continuing with this, because there is a lot in here. Um, the male figure with his back turned turn towards us is calm but emotional. Walking towards a building or home or place of business. So you see his back's towards us and he's walk, walking towards this other building back here. And this is like a watchtower. I don't know if that means anything to anyone, but that's like a watchtower. Um, okay, the pregnant uh, woman or person is like pregnant with ideas he could be pregnant with a child though and uh and it re represents like responsibilities and i looked at this card for i don't know how long before this little child popped out at me so i, I think of this child as uh, responsibilities so this this person has a lot of responsibilities with more coming, more responsibilities coming. And, um, and they're also like calming this dog or petting the dog, you know, just being nice, uh, being nice to the dog. Um, okay, I keep losing my place. Um, could be a situation where one dog, one dog is not too happy. So about halfway through this, I realized this, this little dog right here kind of looks like he's snarling just a little bit, not showing any teeth, but showing a little bit of unhappiness. This is his comrade or, or friend or whatever. They're not bothered, but this one is. Just a, a little bit. Um, okay, let me see. So it's not too happy. This new person may be getting like a promotion um, or something like that. 
which is making the other, the, the, the little dog, feeling like there's unfairness or maybe this person is getting ahead of them or getting something that the new person is, is you know, the new person is getting what the person that's been there a long time is not getting and they're just a little bit upset. So watch out for that. Watch out for a little bit of jealousy or, you know, I don't know, a little underhandedness. He's obviously talking or, or saying something to the boss about this other person or something. That, that's a feeling I got. It's not a big deal. So don't read a whole lot into it and it doesn't matter. It's not whatever this person down here says to the to the boss or the father it could be a brother or a sister saying something to the parents or something like that. Um, just don't get too bothered because I don't think it's going to change uh, this person's feelings or decisions. Um, it's just something to watch out for, though. Uh, you know, we always, always have uh, jealous people, competitive people in our life. So, you know, it's like nothing new. Um, someone may be spying on you or eavesdropping, and I get that feeling from the child as well. Um, and I also get it from the old man watching the two people passing, um, uh, that he's watching carefully to what's happening. Um, if it's can't read my own writing. Um, if it's a new job, just do what you're told to do. Um, if you're the new kid on the block or the new relationship uh, in a family situation or whatever, you know, meeting the parents of, um, of your loved one, uh, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Um, but being the new kid on the block, you know, they always get more attention, obviously, because they need it. Um, but people are certainly going to be uh, giving their own opinions about this new person. They're going to be giving their own opinions, whether it's good or bad um, or whatever. So just, I would say, watch your P's and Q's in whatever situation. Be on your best behavior. Don't do anything, you know, out of contact, uh, conduct, you know. Uh, just watch yourself and, uh, and be careful and everything will be fine. Everything is going to be fine. Don't worry. It will, it will work itself out. Because this is how when you have something new, new job, new boyfriend, whatever. It, it, you know, it's a process. So you're not just going to be automatic best friends with uh, the new mother or their mother or father or, or you know, you're not going to be best friends when you're going straight or right into a work situation where um, you're new and they're, they, the other employees have been there. That They're going to talk about you. That's what people do. Uh, I wish it wasn't that way where we were... Uh, you know, like, um, critical of other people, but that's how it is. You're, I mean, that's just human nature, I guess. And I'm guilty of it as well. So, um, but I do try to give people the benefit of the doubt and, uh, I give people a chance to screw me over, but once you screw me over, we're done. So, uh, that's kind of how I feel about that. So, the future card, I got the Page of Cups. If you see anything in these cards that I haven't talked about, please write it in the comments. Because I would just be curious to know your situation as well. Or, you know, just basic. Okay. So this page of cups is dressed to impress. Um, they're on solid ground now. 
the emotions and turbulence is behind them all this water but look they're standing on solid ground can't get any more solid than that no bumps in the road or anything just smooth sailing there is a new person or job um, or living situation presented to you by this cup and the little fish inside Possibly bringing an old idea, like an old job back around that you're going to do again, or an old relationship, an ex that you might take back uh, into your life and forgive them or whatever they've done you wrong. Um, so you're bringing the past to the present with this card. You are holding the cup away from you as if you are not entirely sure about it so you may not have the confidence you may not be totally trusting of this new idea or situation or job or person um but so you're observing it with your hand like held out and you don't have it close to your chest you have it held out and you're like really observing it but I think you're, it looks like you're hoping for the best. So, uh, I would say be flexible. Oh, I keep losing my place. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired and I'm sitting in the dark. So this is not helping. Um, but if I turn on the light, the fan starts going, and I think it's, uh, you know, it's not good. So, um, oh, but it says you are definitely going to do this. You're definitely going to take on this new relationship or job. Um, you have passion and emotion and the ability to be flexible. Lots of new growth. Just keep your eyes on the prize and all will be well. The page looks like he has new boots and a black belt and dressed well for the occasion. You're watching them. Oh, I can't read my writing. You're watching them. They, oh, you're watching them and they are watching you. So you're really you know, thinking about it. Um, okay, so I s noticed at the end this little place for a jewel, but it doesn't have the jewel yet. So it makes me think that you have to kind of prove yourself to this, this person. And then eventually you will get that jewel. You don't have a crown but you do have a feather in your cap and it's emotional but also calming so you're you're fine um it could be like a new love or like being on a date or going on a date with somebody and you know this person's trying to impress the other person and uh but you're just like really intent on keeping an eye on each other so that's about all i have i think right there anyway i hope that was fun i'll hopefully get better at this this is only the second time of me doing this so i'm kind of out of practice haven't read cards for a while and uh but i just thought this might be kind of fun to to just throw in once in a while okay all right guys have a great day.